This chapter explains basic SAP navigations, including the screens, menus, transaction codes, and buttons that you will use frequently. The first step to learning SAP is to become familiar with SAP navigation. Whether you've used SAP previously or not, we believe it's important to begin from scratch to enable you to know how to navigate the SAP system. So let's understand these navigation features. The SAP Logon menu can be seen as a one-stop shopping store where end users can choose from logon icons, logon groups, or create new logon icons. Logon icons will log a user onto one particular application server. A logon group will log the user onto one of several application servers, depending on which one has the best performance statistics. SAP Logon Pad is used to configure the SAP server. The SAP GUI, Graphic User Interface, is used to connect the local machine to the SAP system. Login procedure in SAP is very simple. Launch the SAP Logon Pad. Double click on the application server from the SAP logon pad, and the SAP logon screen will appear. On the SAP logon screen, the value of the default client appears automatically. Next, enter the user ID and password assigned to you. SAP comes in various languages. EN is short for English. Should you wish to use SAP in any other language, such as French, Look for FR or look up for the other possibilities. Once all these four fields are filled up, press the Enter button to connect to the SAP system. This is the main SAP screen, which has many standard screen attributes and navigation options to different applications. But before we proceed any further, let me quickly show you how you can log off from the SAP system. Click on System from the menu bar and choose Log Off. A new prompt will appear on your screen. If you click Yes, it will log you off completely. If you don't want to log off, select No. Now let me log back in. On the username, if you don't want to key in a user ID, just press the Backspace button and the previously entered user ID will appear for you. This is just an informational message to show the number of failed password attempts. So let me click the continue button. Now that we know how to log on and log off from the system, our next step is to go through six different navigational categories within the SAP system. Let's start with the menu bar first. All the menus are displayed in the menu bar. The menus that appear in the menu bar vary according to the task you are doing. Therefore, you will see different menus as you work on different tasks, but the system and the help menus are always available on every screen. Second, navigational category is the standard toolbar. The standard toolbar is located right below the menu bar, which contains command field and other standard toolbar buttons. The standard toolbar buttons provide quick access to SAP functions, such as enter to continue, save, back, exit system, previous page, next page, and so on. You can create a new session from here. Let me create a new session just to show it to you. Now, if you click on this icon, there are various other options available for you, which is something we will take a look at a little later. Command field is used to enter the transaction codes that direct to a system task or application without using the menu paths below. The command field can be opened and closed by using the icon on the right of the command field, and it will show you some of the previously used transactions. To call a transaction in a window, you can execute in the command field. The SAP Easy Access screen is also known as SAP User Menu. The SAP Menu folder enables a user to work on the SAP system according to the roles and authorization provided by the administration. The menu folder contains two main folders and eight subfolders. The two main folders of the SAP user menu are 
Favorites, SAP Menu, and eight containing subfolders are Office, Cross Application Components, Logistics, Accounting, Human Resource, Information System, Tools, Web Client User Interface Framework. Either you type in a transaction code in the command field, or you access these subfolders to find the relevant transaction. The status bar is located at the left bottom of the screen, which displays important system messages such as errors, completion of transaction, and so on. Now, if I execute any transaction, you will notice a message there. And it quickly disappeared, but it was just the status and nothing else. Errors, warnings, and other messages will also appear there, and you will notice them as we go further along in this video. Now, let me adjust this screen further so that you can see. Now, there's something called Other Menu to call upon a predefined role. If you click this Other Menu icon, it will take you to the search screen. And if there's any role defined within your system, you can search it and it will change your menu accordingly to the role you called upon. This option is hardly used, so I'm going to cancel it. The Help menu contains more help options. You can choose Application Help for context-sensitive help on the transaction you're currently using. Choose SAP Library to open the online SAP Library. Let me click on this for you, and it will direct me to the SAP website. Apparently, the SAP Help Portal is undergoing maintenance, so we can't see it much, but it's very simple, and it's something you can easily use if you need help with something. Let me adjust the screen size once again so that you can see easily. See this message on the status bar that I was trying to show you a little earlier? If a toolbar button is gray, it is not available for use on that particular screen. Like I can only log off. I cannot go back any further than this screen. There are these standard buttons on the standard toolbar, such as Print, Find, Find Next, which are your standard Find options. If you've used Microsoft Office before, you won't find any difficulty understanding these standard buttons. Since I'm in the test system with additional authorizations, so some of these icons are active for me, such as this create role, but you may not have access to these at all. Now, command field is very important and something you will use on a daily basis. I'm going to call up the stock overview report using its short transaction code MMBE. Hit enter and it will take me to this screen. I can simply execute the report using this icon here or by pressing the F8 key. I can also get a saved variant for this report too. Now variant is the sample data that you fill in the screen fields, which can be saved for future use. The saved data on a screen is called a variant. Let me select any random variant here. Now that I've chosen the variant, this report is automatically populated with some predefined parameters. You can scroll down and see some additional data there too. Let me expand the screen so that you can see. Now, if I click on this Execute button, the system will generate a report for me using these predefined saved data. There isn't much to see in this report. Someone just created this variant for no reason. Now, you notice that these buttons aren't grayed out anymore. I can go back and cancel this report. Let me hit the Cancel button, and it should take me back to the previous screen. There we go. Now, if I exit further, it will take me back to the main SAP screen. Here we are. Now, if I hit this yellow icon one more time, it will completely log me out from the system. Now, if I type in forward slash N and any transaction code in the command field, the system will call a transaction within the same session. Let me show it to you.
using SM35 transaction code. This is a batch input transaction. Remember, this session is all about navigation, not the transaction. 